Hello everyone and welcome back to Hudbergs. Today I'm here with another LEGO City update. You can see that the city isn't looking too hot right now. There are several gaps in the middle of the road. The modular buildings are beaten up and of course the city just looks deserted. But that is a reason. You can see that down here I've taken out the entirety of the storefront and I'm redoing it. You can see over here we've got some dead minifigures in the streets. We also have some trees, but I've been completely revamping the amusement park over here. And you can see I've got a little porta potty down there. But I'm really excited for how that's going to look. You can see I've gotten rid of the cross section in the middle because there used to be a road that would go through there. I've gotten rid of it to make room for more modular buildings to be able to go. Soon I might even be getting a new Lego table, that is a possibility, but the main reason the city looks kind of deserted and messed up right now is mainly because of the modular buildings. The modular buildings have gotten a little destroyed. Now you can see right here, if I take off the roof, which is falling apart, they're all empty and stuff. I've kind of messed them up over the years because I've needed pieces, but now that I've gotten all of my parts organized, you can see that it's a bit of a mess on the floor because I've been building. Now that I've gotten all my parts organized, I can revamp and redo the modular buildings to make them look great like they once did. You can see I've done that with the Parisian restaurant, which of course looks great. That motorbike is turned over. I also have done that with the brick bank, and I'm actually going to put out a video of that in the near future because that is my own mock because it is actually a straight modular building instead of a corner one. I'm really excited for the future of the LEGO City and I hope you're excited as well. The carnival over here isn't looking all that great, but it's looking a lot better. You can see that down here I've added a small wall which I think is going to make it look a whole lot better. And you can see that the road plates kind of hang over the edge, so I'm going to extend that wall there to fix that problem. Along with I've freed up more space in the middle of the amusement park by putting the roller coaster to the side. And you can see up here, of course, we have the Ferris wheel. So for over here for the carnival, you can see that I've added this wall down here along with a little porta potty, which actually has a guy inside. And uh, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but yeah, there he is. He's got undies on and everything. But as I move over here, you can see that it's got a slight overhang from the regular road right here. I'm gonna fix that by extending this wall. I've also moved this roller coaster over a little bit to free up more space over here, which I think has actually really worked. And I've actually added an extra board there to make it more stable. But I really like how the carnival's turning out. I think it'll turn out really nicely. And yeah, over here we've got the corner garage. And since I've got rid of that middle space over here in my city, I'm gonna have to do something about this because now there's not a whole lot of corner space. So comment down below and tell me if I should make this straight, make it my own mock. If I should create a shopping mall mock and put my corner garage over on display or any other thoughts you have for that. But uh, I'm gonna actually redo the police station. I'm gonna redo the fire station and I'm actually gonna build a hospital. Now for the big news. So here's the big news. Now I've got one plan for my city that I'm really excited about that fixes two problems in my city. So my city, I want it to look bigger. Those modular buildings there, I want it to look like the buildings go back and back and further and further. So I'm gonna create other buildings in the background. Now you might not understand what I'm saying, but this also fixes a problem of not having very much residential space in my city. So I'm gonna make high rises that will just go in the back right there, straight up against the wall. And I can have apartments, I can have um, a museum, I can have a hospital all in the back, which I think will look really nice and I'm really excited for that. Once again, I also ripped out all of my original storefront. And of course, I added more sidewalk leading up there, even on the beach. But I'm gonna add storefront all the way across and I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit more clean and a little bit better this time. I've also fixed up all of my shelves up here and made them look a little bit more clean. I really like this display that I have for my Millennium Falcon, making it look like it's kind of flying. I've also got a Tuscan Raider down there along with Chewbacca and C-3PO, but I like that along with my Clownfish mark. I think that these shelvings look really good, but I think that's it for this LEGO Room slash City update. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking around till the end. 
Um, also, be sure to comment down below. Tell me your ideas for the city because I will pretty much do them and I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say. Also, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss my other further LEGO City updates. And be sure that you um, like this video if you went on to enjoy it because it helps it get out to more people. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more LEGO City updates. And for now, this is Luke signing off.